Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So this week's spares idea is I picked up this little cheap clock from my local B&M. Um, it was down to two pounds, so I thought bargain. I've been looking for a cheap clock. I did want to spend fortune like they were like ten quid a lot of the time, and I was like, I'm not spending that, no way. So I was like, right, okay, I'm gonna buy myself a nice little cheap clock. Can I see one? I've been looking in charity shops mainly, to be honest. I happened to pop into B and M last week, and I saw this one for two squid. And I was like, right, okay, we'll might get stuck on it. And I looked, and I was like, no. So yeah, B and M. If you're looking for a cheap clock to decorate, so yeah, let's get cracking with this and see what I can come up with, because. It's always some, I'm always like, right, what can I do? What can I do? So, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing this. It's going to be a different challenge for me. So, yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> So I've gone quite far with this. I'm not going to be doing the outsides because it is it will be in well virtually impossible to cover the whole thing as it is. So I'm just going to be covering like just the whole clock face really. But I still think it looks good. It's just to really give you guys an idea of what you can do. You know, you can go, some of you, you know, it's all about time for me. I try to get a different, uh, another video out each week with, like, the reviews and everything else. So, for me, it is just all about that little thing called time. Because I do also work full time as well. So, yeah, I hope you guys like what I'm doing. I haven't done it too like elaborate or nothing like that. It's gone a bit skewy from the middle here, but it's okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna fill this last like the rest of it in with just multi color shinies, the rhinestones and everything. It's nowhere near perfect. As much as I did try to keep it all like circular, it doesn't always work out that way, but it's okay. So I'm using just normal PVA glue to stick this on. Um, I'm not using any special glue or nothing. Just good old PVA glue or school glue, I think other places call it. So yeah, just use good old PVA glue just to stick all this on. Nothing to... Out there or nothing. Just gonna go around and just fill it in basically. So I was hoping it was cooling down outside, but it doesn't seem like that's gonna happen. I need to move this because I keep leaning on it. In it. As it's just thinking, it's just so hot again. I 
Yeah, the PVA glue I get, I get from Poundland. It's a big one like this for a pound, so it is quite a bargain. Yeah, you go to some shops and it can be quite expensive, so in the UK, get it from good old Poundland because you get a big one in the craft section for a quid. So, yeah, if you're looking out for where the best place to buy, I would say, say, would say go to Poundland. I have to say that, you know, PVA glue is a good price. But you've got to be careful with Poundland because sometimes, like, you... Good it's not a pound note. It's not anybody else find that pound is not as good as it used to be. You used to get to get some proper bargains, but then you look at what people get from like the dollar places in America, and they get some amazing things. And it's like I'm actually jealous of your dollar shops in America because you just seem to get such amazing things there. I don't know how on earth you know they managed to get it because I was like. We'd never see as a lot of the stuff you get there. I saw somebody managed to pick up diamond blankets and all that from in their dollar shops in America, or was it Canada? One of the two, but yeah, I was like, wow, that is even just worth it just for the drills alone. Yeah, I will be glad when it just cools down a bit more and I can actually sleep during the daytime. Right, so I'm going to carry on and then I can show you how it all looks at the end, alright? Sorry about the light, it is quite late in the evening, but I wanted to get this outro finished. Next one started and everything, but I have forced to show you a nice close up edit before we can get to this scene. So, yeah, what do you think? I absolutely love how it came out. I was trying to debate how to do this outside bit, but I honestly think it would be a bit of a pig to do, you know. So I've left it, but I'm still really pleased. Is it dusty or is it just scratched? I think it's just scratched up. But yeah, I am really pleased with how it's come out. So yeah, I absolutely love it. Hopefully, I'm hoping that you guys can see it. I can't remember if you guys can see it the right way or not. If not, it will backwards for you. <laughs> but yeah, really pleased. It did go a bit skewy from some places, but... I don't think it's really that noticeable from a distance. Really like it. Not too OTT, not too in, in your face or nothing. So yeah, really, really pleased with it. So yeah. So yeah. 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 <laughs> How many times do I say yeah? If you like I can tell you what. Go back. Have a sip of your tea or wine or whatever. Every time I say yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh dear right so yeah that is it for um this week's video thank you ever so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe leave me a comment down below of what you think of this week's fairs idea and that is it for this video thank you ever so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye everyone